exponents. 10 to the second power equals 10 times 10, which equals 100. 10 to the second power is 10 used as a factor two times. 5 to the third power equals 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. 5 used as a factor three times. Fill in the blanks. Question one, for 10 to the fourth power, you think of 10 used as a factor four times. Question two, 10 to the fourth power equals 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. This equals 10,000. I know this because when I multiply by powers of 10, I can count the number of zeros. There are four zeros and four zeros. This is a shortcut that only works for the powers of 10. Question three, for two to the fourth power, you think of two used as a factor four times. Question four, two to the fourth power equals two times two, times two, times two. To solve this problem, two times two equals four, two times two equals four, and four times four equals 16. So your answer is 16. When working with powers, make sure you take your time because sometimes people go and count two, four, six, eight. That's repeated addition, not multiplication. So just make sure that you're not working too quickly when you work with exponents. Write as many zeros after the one as the exponent indicates, then check to see if the equations are correct. This only works for powers of 10. 10 to the fourth power is 10,000 because it has one, two, three, four zeros. 10 to the fifth power is a one with five zeros, which is 100,000. 10 to the sixth power is a million. Write the base and exponent. The base is five and I'm multiplying five, one, two, three, four times. So it's five to the fourth power. Question nine, the base is six and I'm multiplying six, one, two, three times. So the power is three. The for question 10, the base is 10 and I'm multiplying one, two, three, four, five times, so the power is five. Question 11, the base is two, and I'm multiplying two, one, two, three, four, five, six times. Question 12, the base is eight, and I'm multiplying eight, two times. Question 13, the base is four, and I'm multiplying it one, two, three, four times. So it's a power of four. Write the numbers in standard form. Remember, standard form is basically word form. Here we have 14, three times three, which equals nine. So our answer is nine. For question 15, it's six times six times six. Six times six is 36. 36 times six. Six times six is 36. Six times three is 18, 19, 20, 21. So our answer is 216. Question 16, 
is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16. So my problem will be 16 times 16. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. I add a 0. I'm done multiplying with a 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. I add 6 plus 0 is 6. 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So my answer is 256. Question 17. It's 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Well, it doesn't matter how many times. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But it doesn't matter how many times you multiply 1 times 1. You're going to get 1. Question 18. It's 8 times 8. And that equals 64.